Hi everyone, it's Liz from Real Girl Beauty and today we're talking Battle of the Micellar Waters. I jumped on the Micellar Water bandwagon about a year and a half ago and the first one I ever ever tried was the Garnier Skin Active one and the one that I like is the Blue Cap which is the one that also removes waterproof makeup. I don't wear a lot of waterproof makeup. I wear very little waterproof makeup, especially mascara, because then it's, I don't like the way it makes my eyes feel, and it's a whole thing. But I, I am like the only one. I have seen so many people online, on YouTube, who talk about how much they hate this product. I love this product, and in contrast, I have seen a lot of very positive reviews for this one, which is the simple micellar water. The people hate this and love this. I'm the other way around. I love this one. Now the reason I have both is that I had this bottle, it ran out, it's $10 a bottle, which is a lot of money. It lasts a good amount of time, it lasts roughly 9 months to a year, depending on how often you're using it and, you know, just how much you're using at a time. I had this, I loved it. I loved it. In fact, I loved it so much when I got a sample micellar water in either my birch box or my Ipsy bag, I gave it to one of my best friends because she was saying she wanted to try a micellar water. And I tried it real quick and was like, oh, I like my Garnier better. Here, you can have my sample. Well, my Garnier ran out. And so I didn't have coupons for it, it wasn't on sale, and I'm sitting there like, I really need a mice. I really liked the way it cleaned, so this one was on sale with coupons. I don't like it. I feel like this doesn't do the things that this does. The thing I've heard people complain about is this one is a dual product. It's got like this sort of oilier texture mixed in with it. I have sensitive skin that tends to lean combination dry. So for me, anything that's mattifying, anything that is clarifying, um, anything like that, oil absorbing, anything is going to really make me hate my skin. It's gonna make my skin dry, itchy, flaky, patchy, awful. I need moisture. And this to me, is like the perfect amount of moisture. It also does the job I want it to do more. So what I do when I take off my makeup, if I was wearing makeup, I will first take an eye makeup remover and remove all my eye makeup. Then I take a cleansing towel, take off the rest of my makeup, all the facial makeup. Then I will pull this out and use this on top. And this takes off everything the other two left on. This doesn't. There are days when my skin feels a little bit flakier, it needs a little bit more exfoliation, and I'll take out my um, Oil of Olay mechanized brush. I don't have a Clairsonic, I can't afford one right now. Um, and I'll take that out after I've done all the rest of the removal and I'll put on some CeraVe cleanser and just sit there with the brush going around on my face. And when I do that, after this one, the brush is clean there's nothing coming off of my face. When I do it after using this micellar water product all over the brush, there's foundation, concealer all over that brush. And it just, it was not, it's not what I'm looking for. It didn't do any kind of real moisturizing. It didn't balance my skin out and it didn't take everything off like this one does. And like I said, I know there are so many people I have seen who hate this product. Usually they're people who have oilier skin who are saying, oh, it leaves my, I don't like the, the feeling it leaves on my skin. I happen to love it. So I just wanted to tell you the difference. So yeah, there was a sale. I was able to get two bottles of this. I had coupons for like $4 off each bottle. And then CVS gave me money back towards my next purchase because I bought two of them. So I was able to run out and grab this, even though my rule usually is don't leave a product half used before you start using a new one. That's kind of my frugal rule. And I decided because I just don't want to use this on my face anymore. 
I'm gonna be the one person who stands up and says, I like the Garnier one better. I like it best. It's my favorite. I don't want to use Simple. I want to use Garnier. I haven't tried any others. If you have a different one that's your favorite, please leave it in the comments. If I can ever get a sample for it or if um, I see it on sale with my coupon, maybe I'll grab one and give it a try. Uh, but if you have, if you're kind of like, I don't, haven't used one, I don't see the point of one, or they all seem too expensive, I would, and you have skin like mine that's like sensitive, bordering on dry, it's like combination sensitive with a little leaning into dry more than anything else, then yeah, go with the Garnier. Don't go with the Simple. All right, this is Liz with Real Girl Beauty. If you haven't already done so, please hit subscribe. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up, and I will see you next time with another beauty product review. Take care. Bye.